for this study session, guys. What are we doing here? Does anyone have a vision well, for today? I personally would like to write out vocabulary words um, and definitions and just write it out and have you guys kind of hold me accountable by physically being here. Oh, so we're just here for moral support. Right? I mean, how else do you want to study? Right? I feel like it's kind of a... What what do you have envisioned? Because you are videotaping us. No, Mom, what do you think? I got nothing planned. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I don't have anything planned either. And I understand you went on to Unit 2. I'm still stuck in Unit 1, writing vocab words. So I haven't even started studying. I like Stephanie's plan because it would taste, test my knowledge of the vocabulary words. Because I look at them, I say them out loud. And then I move on. And then, and then the next it. day I look at them, I say them out loud, and I still don't know what they mean. So I, I need a lot of reinforcement. Okay, well, and if we're this, doing vocabulary, let me get my book. Um, is there another technique? I remember back in the old days when I was young, we used to write them out like five times, ten times. Does that work? Does that get into your brain? Probably. Repetition. If you want to take it up in that time, you could try writing them in sentences, using them in sentences. It might psychologically reinforce the lesson. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you the silence? All right, then we'll just write them down ten times. I don't know. As and then, I'm like, are we focusing on the wrong thing? Should we be memorizing vocab, or should we be working on Norda, Baliodu, um, the phrases, the questions, Nongoa, Da? We should be working on all of that, but her only study tip to us was to make the vocabulary booklet, so I think we should do that. Okay. I think that means vocabulary is important to her. And as, well, I've, so said, as I've said to I my audience... I think it'll be useful because in the past she's going to have us like writing our own sentences and translating sentences and all that. So like we're going to need vocabulary for that. Yes, sister? Yeah. So I personally would like to learn vocab because I feel like all we talk about is the verb, co verb conjugation and it just doesn't stick in my mind. And I feel like learning the vocabulary will help me because honestly, I just want to throw words at people. And so I could communicate something. Like, I don't really need verbs. I just want to say, like, hey, house. Uh, I don't know. Um, mm, Tarzan. Yeah, you know, yeah, I want a Tarzan Basque speak. I don't, because, like, the vocabulary is just, you know, and then I'll, I'll infiltrate. Anyway, so I would personally like to focus on, on vocabulary, and I don't think I have focused on it that much. Okay. Or, okay. or we. But, but we can also do our own thing and kind of communicate throughout okay. and be like, what do you think about this? I've only done a few categories of stuff in my book, so maybe you're saying vocabulary that we need to learn that I missed. Okay. So, what are we starting with? What's the idea? Well, I haven't done unit one, but you are on unit two, so I guess we could just start at unit two so that you're not feeling like it's repetitive. Are you saying I'm on unit two? Yeah. Did you say that? I don't even know what unit I'm on. Am I on unit two? I don't know. Oh, I thought you told me you were on unit two. I just... Remember? Maybe I, you told your best audience. Maybe. Yeah. I just looked up... I just opened a bunch of the PDFs, and whenever I saw vocabulary lists, I was like, oh, okay, cool, I should learn that. So, yeah, I probably worked on unit two, but... There's a vocabulary list in, in the PDF? No, you know, like, the units? Like, every once in a while, they'll have half a page and be like, here's some words, like, match them oh. with the pictures or whatever. Yeah, got it. Okay. Well, I can tell you what I've worked on, if you want to know. Yeah. I started my vocab list, too. So I started it out with body parts. Mm -hmm. Like little uh, parts of the head, 
Then I went on to Adderall Black Clothing. Then I went on to Colorac Colors. I skipped colors because I'm like, I already know those. I probably don't, but... Um, I always forget what my Maroya is. Mm-hmm. What is it? Brown. Okay. Marron. And then I confuse it with Morea. Oh, I don't know that one. Purple. Ah, uh, I was just thinking to myself, I don't know purple. Is it Violetta? Morea. M-O-R-E-A. Yeah. So what are you working on, Sammy? I am still getting my ish together. And I have my binder and my paper. Step one. <laughs> Sorry, I was wrapping something up for work. Okay, so you guys are in unit two, right? We're talking about city hall and stuff. Is that unit two? Sure. It's unit one. Oh, okay, unit one. Okay, I, okay so we're not doing unit two. I must I am fully have... present now. I must have skipped unit one straight to two. Are we going to memorize the provinces or the capitals? You don't know the uh-huh. capitals, sister? I totally blew by that. I know most of them. Gastes, I probably wouldn't have remembered. Bra, we learned them on Uraleku 20 years ago. You don't remember? Oh, 20 years ago. Now I remember. Gaste, Seta. Go ahead, Stephanie. Tell us the capitals and the provinces. Is that um, Can I just tell you the capitals? Oh, yeah. Okay. Gaste, is. Bilbo. Donostia. Bayona. Donibane Garasi. That's... Uh, Vashe Nafaroa, Maule, Irunya, Nafaroa. Okay, so you know the Nafaroas. Good job. <laughs> My people. Well, I, I, I could guess the other ones, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Oh, I can't be the only one, but okay, I understand. That's very valid. <laughs> Mom, do you know the provinces? No. I don't. No. Ask me if I go here. Oh. I guess it's not the right attitude. Sorry. I'm going to leave that in just to watch the comments blow up. <laughs> Audience is going to turn that on you. <laughs> I want to throw the uh, province question on you, Henry. What about it? Tell us the provinces connected with the capitals. Why? Because this is supposed to be educational, right? Okay, let me tell you. Bilbo is the capital of Vizcaya. Donostia is the capital of Gipuzkoa. Gasteiz, capital of Araba. You already got Irunya, capital of Nafarwa. Eta, of course, Bayona, capital of Lapurdi. Maule, Moleon, Place du Chat, represent capital of Chiberoa. And you already know, Garasi, capital of Aita's beloved Basha Navarre. Not Nafarwa? Yeah, I think in Batwa it's Nafarwa, Beheria, Berea, Basha Nafarwa, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there's a lot of names. Chiberoa, that's where um, Aita Tius was from. Ba, Eta Tati Michu. And I just remember at Bass Camp he would rip Shibirua hard. No, oh, that's cute. With his Shirula? His what? You don't remember? He used to play Shisto all the time, but every once in a while at Bass Camp he'd bust out the Shirula and it was like, whoa, next level. The little wooden one? Right, right, right. I do remember that. Awesome, cool. You just gave me the answers. Oh, you're welcome. Good. Oh, it was on the next page. But, you know, got to test you as well. Sure. Get that quality that's, content. That's that's how you spell Shibirua? That is not how we learned it. How do they spell it? Subirua, like oh. Z-U-B-E-R-O-A. Yeah, that's some Batois BS. 
Do you think we need to learn the different countries? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. <laughs> Argentina. Oh, good. That one doesn't change. No. Australia. Oh, good. That one stays the same, too. Brazil. With an S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chile with a TX. Ooh, fancy. Uh, Erusia. Can you guess what that is? Russia. <clears throat> Canada with a K. Oh, hello, Basque. Inglaterra. So Spanish. Yeah, I said it. I. In, wait, Ingalaterra. What? I N G A L A T E R R A. No way. Bye. Oh, I take it back then. Senegal. <laughs> Why do you look perplexed? Is Senegal a country? Oh my God, Stephanie. Yes, it is. <laughs> and here you said you don't want to embarrass yourself on the internet. Yeah, Senegal is a country. Where is it? It's in West Africa. Former French colony. Hello. They speak French there. No? They didn't teach you that at French school? Maybe. Maybe. Swedia. Sweden? I'm assuming. Turkey. Turkey? China? No. Same, same. With a TX. Yeah. Uh, Ur Uruguay. U R U G U A I. Okay, that'll be easy to remember. Just need to spell it fast. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm overconfident. I'm not even writing this down. I'm like, it's just, it's just gonna sink in. I'm with you, Stephanie. I wrote it down. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm going to skip six. I don't really understand what's happening. What is it? Well, there's like a bubble, and it says, San Mames, Kursala, Subia, Ibaya, Tranvia, Iria, Irla, Haisean, Oracia, Guggenheim, Museo, Ondata. And so, basically, you have to say, where is this place? In Bilbon or Donostian? Do you know what's in Bilbao? The Guggenheim. Yeah, what's on your list? Well, it's, you have to write down all of the things that's in these cities. Oh. And I only know Guggenheim. Okay. So. I'm going to skip it. Oh. You don't, hey, or, you don't want me, we can discuss. Have you been to Bilbao? Uh, bye. I was with you. When did we go to Bilbao? Oh, oh, back in like 2001? No, oh, I thought you were, it was a trick. I thought you knew the answer. No, but like that doesn't even count to me because it's like, who remembers that trip? I do. I remember the big bear dog thing okay. I remember the Guggenheim you remember we it a well very nice hotel overlooking was it over the look it was by the water the Ibaya perhaps <laughs> and I remember oh that's one of the answers right no it's not wait yeah it is and then I remember Aita being pissed off because nobody knew how to speak Basque yeah that's all I remember from that trip I does really embarrassing outbursts at the hotel check-in desk. <laughs> I did. And our really embarrassing attempts to order orange juice that failed with our Mexican Spanish. That was that was a deal, Bo. Yeah. Yeah, it was at the hotel was bar. We learned the word sumo. That's right. So Ibaya is the river in People. I mean, Donostia has a river too, so that's confusing. Wait, Ibaya means river or it's the name of the river? Oh, no, the name of the river is Nervion. San Mames? What's San Mames? Just... Um, 
Well, it's capitalized, so I'm assuming it's a proper noun. Mom? It's the football stadium. Where? Software. In Bilbo. Bilbo. It, nice. I see what you did there. It's the Cathedral of Bilbao, Stephanie. <laughs> Didn't you go have a drink at a bar there or a pub or something? The English bar, yes. The English bar. Wait, is that a joke because they see football as a religion? Uh, yes. Yes. And, and also, conveniently, this stadium is named after a saint, so, like, it could be the cathedral. Yes. So, what's Kursala? It translates as Kursal. It's, it's, if you don't know, you don't know. It's the big, like, cultural building center in Donostia. It's like a big, <laughs> remember, remember where Fred lived, study abroad? Yeah. Okay, do you remember the view was down on the beach? Yeah. And next to the beach, there was, like, this big cube-like modern building? Yes. That's the one. It wasn't like, was it like a theater or a government building or? It, it was a cultural building, Kursala, yeah. Okay. So is that like a it's, museum? It's like an event space, like a venue. Event space, okay. It's where they have the film festival. Cool. Okay, Subaya, Subia, Subia. What? I feel like we know people that have that in their last names. Bridge. Subia equals bridge. Mom, Subaya. where's their bridge? Don't both cities have a bridge? Trick question. Good job, oh, Mom. Thank you. Tranbia. I don't know that one. It's a, a tram. tram. Oh, a tram. Stephanie, uh, last it, time last time you were in Donostia, did you see a tram? We took one. You took right? A, you took a tram? We took a train. That doesn't count, right? Oh, yeah, I guess I went in July. I don't remember. I was at the airport in Bilbo. But I didn't see a tram. There's trams in Bilbao. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm mostly doing this for the vocabulary remembering. I don't really care. Trambia. Trambia. Or is it a tranbia? No, just Not... T. T R. No, I'm saying is it a trenbia or a tranbia? Tranbia. Tranbia. T -R. Wow. Okay. Yeah. T R A N B I A. Got it. Trambia. <laughs> okay. Haisan Orasia. Do you want to know what that means? I do. I really do. It's a wind comb. Oh. <laughs> What's a wind comb? What does that mean? I don't know. I need to include this in the video because all the people in the Basque Country will be dying at you uncultured swines <laughs> laughing at the wind comb. Is it like a windmill? It's the Ooh. name. That makes sense. It's the name of like the most famous piece of public art in Donostia. Oopsie, sorry. Oh, it, so it's not a skyscraper? No. <laughs> I, don't think I mean, so. think about it. You know, they're so literal. It's like, oh, it's like combing the wind, you know? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sure. I guess, yeah, maybe it makes sense. Google it. Literally, type in Donostia wind comb. I don't think I need to learn that. <laughs> Is that by the sculptor whose name I never remember? I don't know whose names you remember or don't, Mom, but probably, yeah. <laughs> you were going to go visit his... I did go so, visit his did museum. Visit. Chiida. Chiida, something like that. Luis Peña Ganchigi did it. And there's a collection of three sculptures. Wait. What's his name again? 
So it's a collection of three sculptures by Eduardo Chilida, arranged as an architectural work by the vast architect Luis Pena Ganchiqui. But it's associated with Chilida, right? Yeah. It's at the end of the Concha Bay, at the end of Ondareta Beach. You didn't go? Did we go there? Didn't you take me there before taking me to the airport? On on that maybe on that area, right? Yeah, we went to on that area. Close. <laughs> no, very far. <laughs> um, same, same. A beach in San Sebastian, on that area. Same, same. So this one in. The comb of the wind. Which city is it in? Which city has a beach, Stephanie? Donostia. You got it. Okay. Guggenheim Museo. I don't even need to write that down. Check. On that side. Mm -hmm. Should we tell them? The now? beach. I think we learn better when we figure it out for ourselves. What are you trying to say? Did I miss something? No, it was funny. We were just I just asked you which city has a beach and then you were like, Donostia and then you're like, Okay, on Darza. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this must be what it's like for my audience to watch me just struggle. <laughs> you're like, dude, you just said it <laughs> No, I have admitted I'm not the best at learning languages. No, it's hard, dude. It's hard. <laughs>